be testing out the A first and then flipping it over and trying the USB-C. I've already done some testing on it, that way I could do a, a proper review for you guys. And uh, this is my fastest port, right in the side here. Don't mind the clutter. Basically I have to say, don't mind the, please don't mind the clutter. Okay, so this is what's on the drive. I call it Steam Deck because I am originally going to be transferring it, um, stuff to and from there. Ended up coming out to 214 gigabytes out of 128. That's a lot missing to me. So when I click on it, there is files that I've already put on there. I did format it in NF, whatever the heck that is. So I put some files on there. Just a little amount. It's only 10.8 gigabyte. So I'm going to cut them and put them on my computer, which is also an M.2, so it's super fast. And let's see what it does. I've already done it once. It's pulling the 141. I have gotten it to 150, but watch as it gets across. About right here, it'll drop down to 70 if it does what it did last time. I think it's as it gets hotter. Devices do slow down a little bit with transferring when they get a bit hot. And it being metal means it's probably going to get a bit warmer than... Um, it normally would be in plastic or something. So it goes down to 70 for the entire remainder of that transfer. It gets worse. So transferring it one way um, should be about the same as transferring it back. I use this. It's on Amazon. Got reviews in the link on the reviews. I put a micro SD in there. And it pulls a solid 150 to 160 from a SanDisk uh, 128A2. You gotta get the A2. If you get the A1, it's gotta be the golden red one. If you get the gray one, it pulls good speeds, but not as good. That's why there's a price difference. It'll say A2 on the chip. Now that pulls great, and I've gotten them cards so hot with this thing to where I almost couldn't even touch it. This one, as soon as it got hot, it just seems like it kind of shut down a little bit. Definitely keeping it either way because it's super nice. I've showed it off to a few people because if you guys watch the unboxing videos, I kind of freaked out that it flipped. Uh, USB-C to USB-A. Okay, I'm not even going to give it some time. I'm going to have it and cut them and put them back on the device as soon as it's done. Now when I use this, I do not have a slowdown either way. And it claims it does the same exact speed as what this does. Most of you be like, oh, it's getting hot or something. Well, my micro SD doesn't have any problems. And I use it on the drone. I use it on two Go three GoPros. I'm going to go ahead and cut that. Go over to Steam Deck. And we're going to drop them right back in there. Basically transfer them where they were, right back in. It looks like it's holding at a 20 or a 70. So when I did this test earlier, it dropped clear down to a 20. I don't know if it's going to do that again. Um, I have let it cool off. There it goes. It's doing the same exact thing it did last time. And that's not the file size or the file type. Um, I've already transferred this over to my GoPro. GoPro SD card and it pulls a 150 both ways. Okay, we'll flip it over to the USB-C, but in the meantime, I'm not going to make you guys wait that full four minutes. I'll watch it and sum it up on the USB-C side. Almost didn't get the camera back out in time. So if you guys see that little green bar that goes across there. Can you see better? A little bar it's been pretty straight for a while and it's pulling between a 17 and a 23. i think it got a little bit warm um i do have like them testers but it shoots a laser well the laser does not work good with reflective objects and that is a reflective object now i'm going to touch the actual part of it and it's saying oh let me try again 
accidentally touched the computer. So it's pulling in 81 degrees Fahrenheit, 27.4 Celsius. I don't know how accurate that is because it is a reflective. They say do not use these with reflectiveness. I don't know if they just mean water or what. So it looks like it kind of pulls a 20. And that's only 10 gigabytes. So about 15 gigabyte in is when it really just took a nose dive clear down to 20. Now as soon as that's done transferring, I am going to unplug it, let it cool off for about an hour. And then we're going to plug it into the USB-C on the same computer, same device, transfer the same exact files, see if it repeats the same steps. And then I'll show you guys um, me transferring it to something else maybe. Have it switched over to the USB-C. It's been sitting a while, nice and cooled off. I'm going to plug that into my, right into the back of the computer. That's where my Thunderbolt port is. Should pop up in a second or two. I may have to discover it. I've never plugged it into that port. Oh, I didn't plug it in far enough. And now I just dropped it. Stay tuned. That didn't take that didn't take long. Now I am plugging it in. Did it ding dong or anything? Oh, there we go. Okay, now let's see how fast it uses the Thunderbolt 4 port 4. We're simply just going to cut it right off the Steam Deck. That's what I'm calling it, the Steam Deck. Put it right in here. See if it loses its speed. Or see if it's consistent with what it did um, with the on the USB-A side of the device. Right about here is where it dropped down to 70. And it does the same exact thing. So whichever way you have it, it really doesn't matter. It's still going to pull the same exact speeds. Seventy still seems pretty fast. The twenty and the seventeen, it was pulling. Er, that that didn't quite make me too happy. This time I'm going to copy it instead of cut it because I want the files to stay on here because I'm going to transfer them to my micro SD that's an A2 from SanDisk and show you guys how fast it is. I'm assuming I'm going to transfer it. It's going to start out in the 60s and then go clear down into the 20s. Okay, I'm going to copy them this time instead of cutting them, putting them back in the same file they just came out of, and it starts out as a 35. It's not even going to attempt to go up to the 60. It pulled better um, speeds under the USB-A side of it during this. It could also be because it's only copying them, not cutting them. Stay tuned. Just have that simple adapter that's USB-A. 
that is blue, so it must be USB 3.0 at least. I have the most awesome micro SD card ever. Make sure if you're getting this that it says A2 at the bottom. Doesn't matter what size it is, it's just gotta be this color and say A2 if you want it to move fast. I'm gonna go ahead and plug this into the same port that we had plugged this into with the A side of it, USB A. And this is just set up for the Steam Deck originally. Now I got this, which seems a bit slower. So uh, let's move the files, cut them, just like we did with this stick under A and C. And watch the speeds on it. Oh, and of course they're going to come out awful for this video. Normally it pulls 150. Solid. And I cut the files earlier so that or copied them that way they are still the same files look it just slowed down just a little bit right there but look it's going really steady I'll take that hundred and three with the same files over it dropping to a 70 any day I just wish it could stay at that speed now we're going to rip them right out of there and see what speed it does there too. Remember this was a 20 on this. On USB-C too. And this thing's staying strong. Same exact files. Look at that, did great. Now let's take them off that device. I'm gonna cut them just like I did, put them right where they were the last time. And we'll see if it gets hot and dropped again. Um, don't mind that, whatever that was. Now it's pulling the 154. It's gonna be hard to see a graph now because it's at the 150. It is flying. And remember, it just put all that on there. So it should be a pretty warm card. I'm going to check it, but not take it off. It says it's 103 degrees right now. I don't want to take you guys off of that. Oh, it just went up to 167. I'm going to put you guys down right to the end. Now it's at the end. I'm going to pull that SD card out and check its temp. Oh, it just went down to 115. That ain't that ain't bad at all, though. Now that's just transferring files, which I do a lot of YouTube, and I transfer a lot of files, so I need to transfer. I'm gonna pull it out of the computer as soon as it's done. Ooh, hot, hot, hot! Oh. The metal part on that. Okay. It's saying the SD card is 77. That's 108 degrees. 90, 97. The card itself saying it's about 80 degrees. So it definitely gets hot, but never really slowed down compared to what this does. So if you think about it, they haven't made a USB-C one of these yet, but if you put this in there, if you really want the speed and you want stuff to work with you while you're making a video what's the difference between carrying that around I know it could almost fall out but put a little glue on the top side of it or something that or this for speed it can be up to you but I really like how this thing's built the metalness for sure thanks for watching